Thanks for having my back out there. I was annoyed. Honestly, I think the whole WWE universe was. So, I guess this means we're finally gonna get our match, huh? You're pretty excited for someone who's about to get handled. <laughs> I see how it is. Well, you just go ahead and underestimate me, champ. Oh, I don't underestimate you at all. I've seen your stuff on the indies. I know you can go, but so can I. You've watched my indie matches? I didn't know you'd be into that. What? Just because I started wrestling at WWE and never had an independent run doesn't mean I can't appreciate what you did there. I mean, that dive off the balcony against La Congrejita Loca? Wild. Self-destructive and probably ill-advised, but wild. Man, if you had ever been a free agent when I was in TBD, I would have gladly jumped off a balcony against you too. That sounds like a blast, except I'm the one who would have been doing the jumping. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how it came up, but I do sometimes wonder what an indie career would have been like for me. It sounds like an adventure. Huh. What? Just gets me thinking about our match. About whether I'm going to pin or submit you? No, well, not exactly. Someone recently pointed out that I was lucky enough to experience a fantastical whirlwind tour when I got to WWE. I got to have the adventure. I'm wondering if I should pay it forward. What do you have in mind? You're confident you're gonna beat me anyway, right? Anytime, any place. I was really hoping you'd say that. You want to do what? It's just gonna be two matches. Best of three series. So yeah, <laughs> it might go to if Bianca really has no fight in her. It'll probably go too. That's as many as I need. It's not the best of three series that gives me pause. It's the locales. It is the usual custom to defend the WWE Women's World Championship on WWE TV. Sure, we could do that if we want to stick with what's comfortable or, get this, we fight for the Women's World Championship in the coolest indie arenas around. Japan, Mexico, we could even go back to your old stopping grounds in the UK. Honestly, sounds like a great way to push that grassroots international exposure you business types are always talking about. And you know what else it sounds like? Oh, I'm positive you'll tell me. It sounds like a big swing. It sounds like taking advantage of every opportunity on the table. And it sounds like doing something different without being afraid to fail. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not sure I like you turning my words back on me. I'm sorry to interject, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unheard of. Allowing a WWE champion to defend at these underground indie shows? Untelevised? What about... What about the advertisers? Advertisers? Really? I'm afraid Troy makes an excellent point. Marketing will hate this. See? Fortunately, this is not a marketing company. This is a professional wrestling company. A professional wrestling company that's going to take a swing and whose general manager cannot wait to get on the road. Ugh. The only question is, where to first? Don't look at me. This is your world. I'm just the adventuring tourist who gets to hit you, wherever you so choose. It may be my world, but I say we make it your world to start. What if we go back to your old territory? Match one at Club UK. God save the king.
Dear, dear, dear. That cannot have gone as you'd hoped. No. Everything went exactly according to my plan of getting hit in the face a bunch. Are you regretting giving Bianca the invitation into the Indies? Not at all. I miss the intimacy of a smaller show. The interaction with the fans. Just didn't expect Bianca to pull the same energy from the crowd quite as easily as she did. Bianca got very comfortable very quickly. If she had come up in the Indies, I would have wanted her for TBD. But that's not going to stop me from beating her at our next stop. Which raises the question, where to next on this great tour of the world? Bianca played a little fast and loose with the rules out there. So at our next stop, let's lay down the law. I'm sorry. Law. L-A-W, the Los Angeles wrestling promotion. It was a pun. And those are seconds of my life I shall never recover. The City of Angels it is. Ladies, it appears that you two will be going to a final match. Fitting, really. Winning that championship will be even sweeter after going the full series. Don't get cocky. No way you beating me twice in a row. Before you two launch into a witty repartee, I have an update. I've just spoken to the suits in Stamford. They have... thoughts. Well, that's never good. Word of your genuinely marvelous matches has spread. And so has the buzz. They were insistent that the next match will be on WWE television. They want us to do the match on Raw? You promised us we could see this through in indie arenas. Indeed I did, so I reached an agreement. We will be producing a portion of next week's Raw live from the location of your final match. Oh, wow. Uh, listen, I know this is a stretch, but how would you both feel about having the match at T... TBD? Yes, a surprising and unexpected suggestion from you. Which is why I have already given instructions for the road crew to meet us there. Wow, it's going to be super embarrassing to lose on your home turf. But I, for one, am here for it. One idea, though. What's that? With everything I know about TBD, and since it's the final match, kind of seems like it should be no DQ, right? Bianca Belair, you have no idea what you just asked for. <laughs> Deal. Geneva is gonna freak. Wow. <laughs> I'll second that wow. And raise you a hot damn. They really got to work in here, didn't they? Can you believe it? After the hectic morning I've had with the crew to get this set up, I can. I had to yell at some guy named Troy a lot. He kept wanting to cover up the TBD signage with raw logos entirely. <laughs> Sounds like Troy. <sighs> I'm really glad that I could do this for you, Geneva. For us. Did you ever imagine that we'd be here? Honestly? You main eventing a TBD show feels pretty familiar to me. This one just has more logos. You know what I mean. This is different. Later tonight, I'm gonna win the WWE Women's World Championship in the house we built. Living the dream. Hey, you get ready. I've got some contracts to look at. <laughs> Same as always. But seriously, don't get too caught up in paperwork that you forget to enjoy yourself tonight. This is big. Big, big. I know. It is. And I won't. 
But I also know you'll enjoy this enough for the both of us. Good luck out there. It's the main event of WWE at TBD. The title is at stake as TBD Original Cat takes on Bianca Belair in a rubber match for the Women's World Championship. A WWE title defended all over the world and now at a U.S. indie promotion? I never would have believed it. Well, believe that despite the feel-good story, Cap has a huge challenge ahead of her to walk away champion here tonight. She's going up! Top rope here! From the top! Big splash! Shows you how committed this competitor is to winning the title. She's staying elusive. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. And Bianca is failing to offer any resistance here. Bianca unable to find breathing room. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh. Oh, he is in a precarious position. Looking to inflict even more damage. Now this is going to get ugly. It's going to get bad. Up to the top row. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Spanish fly. My goodness. Massive move there. The challenger just becoming a huge threat to the champion. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Head over heels. Yeah, incredible flip. Ah, oh, chop. Kick right to the face. Into the suplex. Looking wobbly in the corner. Followed by an elbow, a four, my goodness, just punishing their opponent. Uh-oh, wrist lock, wrist lock. Chop to the midsection, all the way up, and bring more drop kick. That was amazing. Bianca is being taken full advantage of now. Belair now just trying to survive. Driving down the forearm into their jaw. Stop, stop, stop! And it's followed by a forearm smash! Uh-oh, this is just vicious, nasty stomp of the arm! Rope step, corkscrew plancha! A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. And gets tossed back into the mat. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Over the top rope and misses on the springboard. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. They got the quickness. And the handspring cardiac kick. Check out this display of power. Lifted all the way up. Driving them down for the final prayer. Gonna see a new champ. Two. Oh, she's still alive. We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away, and that's being proven right now. More like the champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. Super kick! And Belair is being broken down. Yeah, Belair struggling to find solution. Wheelbarrow neck breaker. Oh, uh, measuring their opponent, little gut wrench. Into the Yokosuka cutter. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Kicked right in the gut. And they're going to end things with a ripcord flatliner. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Goodness gracious. She's bringing the pressure on now. Yeah, she's really being the aggressor lately. Bam! That 
takes them down. Down low with the drop kick. Knee lift. Neck breaker. Look at this. High risk. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. And now she delivers her back into the ring. She's got her where she wants her. Over the top rope into a lariat. And an overbearing amount of offense against Belair here. Bianca here in a disheartening position. From the top. From the top rope. Here's the pin title. This journey for the woman they call the captain reaches a conclusion with a victory over Bianca Belair. Hey, this is no 70,000 seat stadium, but on this night in this small theater, this audience feels like WrestleMania. Well, there's nothing like WrestleMania, but I think it means a little bit more to this superstar that her first championship win happened here. A full circle moment, Corey. This woman has followed a long and winding road that brought her back to her beginning. What's next for this superstar, this WWE Champion? The sky's the limit. What's Bailey doing here? Bailey was the number one contender until she got injured after War Games. Bailey's not moving like she's injured now. What does she want? What do you think, Saxton? No, 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 no. Not in my ring. TBD promoter Geneva Rose is not having it. Well, I guess she's ride or die with our new champion, but what's she going to do to stop Bailey? You got WWE problems. Go settle them on WWE time. Because believe me when I say, if anyone, anyone tries to interrupt my best friend's hard won moment, it's gonna be me. No, they've been friends for years. Don't trust anybody. This is an assault. This is karma, Saxton. You can only step on so many people before you pay the piper. And she's paying now, but for what? Thanks for coming home, Cap. It was so generous for you to put this show together for me. I know you think I'm slumming it around here, but you forget that I'm proud of what we built together. And I know you're used to taking the credit for everything. So I thought it was important for me to make an appearance tonight, to set the record straight. You'd be nothing without me. Let me be clear. I am not just some best friend side character in your hero's journey. What do you think I've been doing since you left? Sitting around and just following your career with rapt attention? You moved on. I didn't. And I've been putting everything I have into growing TBD. So, when Bailey approached me, I was more than happy to help turn your moment into my moment. You can feel the bitterness from Geneva Rose, the jealousy. Recognize this? The contract we wrote in the diner when we first started TBD. Yeah, I had it framed. Thought it was a nice touch. Especially now. Because according to this legally binding document, you're still signed exclusively to TBD. You can't work anywhere else. You can't be champion anywhere else. And you belong to me. But she's a WWE superstar. Not according to Geneva Rose. See you next week, Cap. Don't be late. Don't forget to subscribe.